Guys, welcome back to Southern Extreme TV. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on my channel. Trying to take advantage of some of the overcast conditions and do a product review for you guys today. So we are going to be talking about a new bipod that is uh, an M-Lock compatible bipod from CV Life. So thanks for hanging out with me. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are trying to grow this thing to 100,000 subs. We do a little bit of everything on this channel, hunting, outdoors, gun reviews, product reviews, you name it, we try to do it. Today we are talking about a bipod, and not just any bipod, a, a very budget-friendly bipod that can be used um, on an M-Lock rail system. So I'm super excited to, to, to get this thing out of the box and then eventually do some testing out of it. We're not gonna be showing it on the firearm today um, out of request by the manufacturer. Just mainly gonna be an unboxing, first initial review of it. Um, so with that, let's dive into this thing and see what is going on with it. So right off the bat, just a, kind of a cheaper cardboard box, but first impression of this bipod, it is flat dark earth which is really nice and some of the reviews and some of the things that i've been doing as far as looking at this uh shows that this bipod can actually function in both directions so right there you can see this is how it would be deployed um, if, if we were going to be shooting and it looks like it's the to me it's like the perfect distance uh, the, the feet are the perfect distance apart to have a really stable shooting platform because I've seen some bipods where, you know, the legs are, are really close together and I've seen some where they're just super wide and just not really all that functional at the end of the day. Um, but this one seems to be that kind of perfect happy medium. It does have some rubber feet on here, which is nice for uh, really shooting on some artificial type stuff if you're gonna be going to the range to practice shooting off concrete. Um, and what I do like about the rubber feet as well is they're quiet. So if for some reason you are you know, in a rocky area and you deploy this bipod, you're not gonna be making a bunch of noise trying to get your rifle set up. And, and, and then if it's on rock, you've got a lot of grip there with it being rubber which is really really cool and flipping them both ways so right here is how they would be deployed kind of facing out towards the barrel if for some reason you wanted to I guess reverse that rotation you can definitely do that and you can see that you've got 180 degrees of maneuverability with this bipod which is a big deal so I think that that's a really cool feature um, another thing just kind of off the off the rip is there is a tension knob here on the bottom so if you loosen this knob up it actually allows your m lock plate to pivot so when you're sitting here with your rifle and you're shooting or you're in the shooting position you, that rifle can now pivot on a horizontal axis which is a big deal i think that that's uh i think that's big because you never know what type of shooting situation you're going to be in you may be in a situation where when you're sitting there with your rifle and, and you're wanting to get on aim you don't want to have to necessarily pick these legs up and move them left or right just to be able to to pivot your muzzle uh, from left to right so being able to to pivot and then reach up here and tighten that knob back down is a big deal because then now it is locked in place um, these legs are extendable and they are extended with a very simple uh, push button here on the front so each leg has a push button you mash that button and the legs will extend so you can see if we were on a uneven top level uh, ground you could actually extend these to where the legs are different uh, different heights or they go all the way up um, to that dimension right there. And I'm not sure exactly what that dimension is. Uh, 7.9 inches collapsed and 10.6 inches at this dimension here. So this is the tallest that it'll go, basically 10 and a half inches, and then just shy of eight inches when these legs are fully collapsed, which to me is a really good size for a bipod that is going to be uh connected to your firearm for the duration of your hunt or your shooting your shooting session because any longer than that i feel like you can i, I it, to me if you're going to be taller than that you're better off just getting a tripod or a different type of shooting system that you actually carry in uh, versus having this thing mounted to your firearm the entire time so i really like that feature 
um, and, I, and I think it's a good size uh, just all the way around. So they give you a little bit of a, a content uh, card here on the inside of this box as well, just tells you a little bit about it. They do offer this bipod in black as well. I elected to go with the flat dark earth um, because I plan to put this on my Christensen Arms 300 wind mag. Um, because it has the XLR chassis system on it and it has an M-lock rail all the way down the handguard, which should work out beautifully with this bipod. So a uh, little information card there, and then you obviously get your mounting hardware here as well. So basically you've got screws that'll go through this bottom black plate here that will go up into the M-lock slots on your firearm, and that's how it will um, permanently attach to your uh, weapon system. So really, really cool, very simplistic, which is what I like. It's not overly complicated. And I love the fact that you have the ability to attach it to an M-lock rail in lieu of having to attach to a Picatinny rail. And the reason that I like the M-lock in lieu of the Picatinny is unless you have a Picatinny rail that is built into your rifle, um, that is an extra attachment point that can fail. So whereas with this, I've only got to worry about two screws failing, whereas if this was a Picatinny adapter, I would have my one or two screws that this would attach to the Picatinny rail, and then I would have the one to two screws that my Picatinny rail uses to attach to my rifle. That gives me four attachment points that could potentially fail out in the field, and I think reducing that number in half is a very big deal and can help out in the field just eliminating any of those crazy situations where something bad could happen. So all in all, really, really impressed so far with this little bipod. It's super lightweight, super durable. Um, it, it feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. That was the one thing I was a little worried about with it being a, a very budget-friendly bipod is that it would feel cheap. And I just didn't really want that to be on a very high-end rifle that I have. Um, so glad that uh, it doesn't fit that bill of a cheap feeling uh, product. So really cool. If you guys are in the market looking for a new bipod, make sure you go check out CV Life. They've got this product on Amazon and on their web website as well. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys got any questions for me on my channel, drop a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer any and all questions that I can. Um, and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for hanging out with me.